Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are back in the number two. Still haven't picked up another locomotive, but what we did do, as you can see, is pretty much spent out of money. But we picked up another couple of hopper cars, so that's going to get thrown on to the Cook Consolidation 280. Our big, beautiful locomotive, I guess, the one that we be using. It, uh, it definitely has been getting the job done. So we uh, are happy with this one. Brake will come off. And we'll kick that up into gear. These are going to pull up easy enough. The idea is going to be to go grab the other three and see if we can get the five down to the coal mine and back again, which I'm sure... You know, who knows, the five empties coming up is going to maybe be a bit of a trick, not exactly sure. The cook, um, the cook is definitely, whatever, the cook consolidation is definitely done more than, you know, I was thinking it was going to. So, I don't know, at this point I kind of think that it's, it's a pretty powerful locomotive. And it's probably going to get the job done. Going to pick up, wanted to pick up a way car. Don't have quite enough money, about a hundred short on that. So that should be coming up sometime soon. We should be plopping one of those on here. <clears throat> we should kind of finish out the train. Probably slow this thing down a little bit. We're running a couple loads today. Definitely overspeeded it and had a few of the cars rocking and rolling all over the place. Didn't derail or anything, but definitely had, um, you know, this thing can move faster than the rolling stock. That's behind it, that's for sure. So, but we are going to keep this one with the uh, gray boiler, kind of with the grayed cars thing. This one I think is going to stay with the hopper cars coming up here when we start making enough money to pay for some other things. And uh, this will just become the uh, coal train, I think. Yeah. So that's going to be this one's permanent job. I don't think after we get another, some more locomotives, this one will be coming off. It'll just be the hopper, hopper train for iron. As I don't think it's probably going to finish the the hopper car. I don't think it'll be able to do the hopper job. I guess out at the uh, coal mine. So this will just be iron. This will be the old iron range train. Will be the idea. Which I'm totally happy with. Not sure if we'll, what our next locomotive will be at this point. Um, although, <clears throat> probably more for hauling other things. It's not going to necessarily be another heavy haul hopper. Uh, we need something that can run around with just tier 2 flats, or tier 2 and flats, stuff like that. Beams, hauling beams and iron is going to be really our next big thing. I don't think we're going to be pushing out to the um, coal mine any, or the uh, yeah, the coal mine anytime super, super soon. I know we're getting ready for it, but uh, I think we're going to start to build up the bank, build up some locomotives and some rolling stock so things are a little more convenient going forward is what we'll do. Something where we're actually hauling out, you know. We need some rolling stock. The one drawback I thought that to uh, buying this locomotive off the bat is it's a little more expensive and it kind of cut down on the number of rolling stock I've had. So currently we've had to stick with running some short trains. Obviously the three hopper cars is a perfect example of that where now getting up to five at least we're getting into that thousand dollar load range which is what I kind of like to keep things at is at least a thousand bucks a load or in that neighborhood feels a little more productive that way but can't always be done but the loads that don't do the thousand dollar limit to me are kind of the you know those are the work loads the ones you just kind of want to get out of the way definitely not super fun to run uh, at least that's just my take on it I like doing the payoff loads but you know that's me all of them, I guess, at the end of the day are the same. You get some pretty great views. And, um, 
you know, they all take time, so it doesn't really matter. But it's always nice to get that bigger payoff bonus so you can advance, I guess, is my take on it. Getting to a cash paying load is gonna be nice. Thousand bucks, this one runs down the hill and up the hill pretty fast. I think we can do, I think we'll be able to get it down to running maybe four or five loads in an hour, no problem like that, which, you know, means we can make a couple thousand bucks pretty quick anyway. And I'll be happy with that. And we might even be able to add more on here, to be honest. I have no idea how much it's going to actually want to haul. So we'll get that going. This one's going to run up. I think we'll have to bring it around to the front now because we have stock all stored off to the edge on both sides there. So can't do much. Can turn around, I suppose, break it when we get right by here. And that will at least cut down on some of it. Clip that. Whoa. Alright, flip that. There we go. Come back here. Flip this it around. Bagger up. Did need to put a pin and a link in here, I'm sure. Probably. Plink pin. Go back and check this so we don't run into double problems. Totally makes sense. There, that. Whoa, no. Worst place on the map, probably to go off. I guess that wasn't too bad. Alright, that's cool. Boom. Geronimo! Alright. Turn that off that we were ready. That's good, that's good, that's good. Wheel this back. I don't know if I'm going to cut all these trees out of here or what the plan is to do with these trees. We're definitely not really building much in here on this layout because there isn't a lot of room. So if I cut out the trees, I don't know, I might be able to sort things out and put a few more things in here. Very hard telling. I don't really know. Alright, so we'll chuff this thing backwards. Green, black, red, and then it's got white on the wheels. So, yeah, it does have four colors in it. This is the dangerous hookup. But this is, here we go. don't need to take a, a left here keep that going that away cha -cha. like that double chuff right at the start it's kind of my favorite one cha -cha. but yeah that's kind of neat all right we'll bring this up to the mine 
slam stack. Let's see if we can turn around and get this filled up. <clears throat> yeah, this one is so in her face. No. Stay up there. Stay up there. Give me that one. That's easier. Ten. Definitely have enough to get up here now. Run loads. So, you know, whatever. Finally, time to get to a payoff. <clears throat> Which is kind of nice. Starting to be able to actually build up the stock, really. You know, nice. And a loco. We definitely could use another, probably two or, yeah, another two logos. Speed loading on these things sure is nice. I think most people still would say, uh, you know, a one ant dump would be fine. I think at most of the industries, if they just filled up in one, nobody would be complaining too much, but probably not true. Who knows? People would probably like the crane stuff, I guess, maybe. I don't know. These ones you definitely could auto dump them if you wanted to, because all you gotta do is sling them down and they can auto fill it till it's full, you know. So <clears throat> they are just a bit on the time-consuming side. If you don't speed load them, speed loading it is just a much more. I think most people probably do speed load them. I don't know. If you uh, do the speed iron mine filling and coal, you know, comment down below. I don't know. Or do you just open them up and walk away? I don't know. Suppose you could open them up and just drive the whole train down it. If that works and you've done it, let me know. I don't know. I have no idea. I've never done it. Too afraid to waste the stuff on the ground. But now that I think about it, you probably maybe could time it out to where you just hit it and get it in between it. Or don't waste too much anyway in the process. Might not be a bad way to go, actually. I have to try that coming up. Because I've never tried to load them like that. So if you have and you can prevent me from wasting my time, go ahead and put that down below. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, that might be an interesting way to try to load load these up if it just keeps auto dumping. I'm not sure. Alright, there is that all filled up. Don't have a caboose yet little disappointed there was hoping to get you enough money to actually do that and I could have just kept running wood but I really wanted to get to the big money this will be so much faster I mean could buy a caboose and a couple more cars after the run not that I'm gonna because the caboose is quite frankly not high on the priority list and getting some money for locomotives now is we have the hoppers that we need uh we have the tier two cars that we need and we have the um the flats so now it's just really we need another locomotive so we can have more than one train moving at a time and just kind of keep things flowing would be pretty nice so i think that's going to be the target something that can at least haul some Awesome tier two or the tier two stack, and I don't know if that'll be another. It could be another cook, um, whether it's the 260 or the another 280. I'm not totally sure there. Uh, you know, I've been thinking about leaning towards just doing an all cook setup, but I'm not totally sure because I don't know that a cook's going to do what we want to do for the um, coal mine. I have a little different route in mind for that. It's definitely going to get steep, and I don't know that this, <clears throat> you know, this locomotive is going to do that. I guess we'll get a good idea more when we try to bring this, this load up as to how it's going to do. But in that case, it would also have to do it with uh, not just empties, uh, because it's obviously got to get out of the 
mine and go up a mountain one way or another there is no real way to transport coal across the map without going up a mountain in some kind of way so um yeah i was kind of thinking something a little stronger but i don't know maybe we'll do class 70s or something out for that mine i don't know what the plan will be i like using the cooks maybe for everything else and then Class 70s or Heislers, I don't know. In my experience, usually the Class 70 pulls more than a Heisler, so. And I know there is the Climax in there, but I still fundamentally think the Climax is kind of broken with the it just spinning its wheels thing. Meanwhile, you can bring it to a stop with the brakes, because I don't think all that works right, but that's just my take. This run, at least, is nice, quick, easy, easy to be done, and it goes pretty well. So, away we go. <clears throat> that is for sure. to the valley floor which is nice this is the only kind of extra beautification stuff we've done at all for this layout is right there looking up to the mountain still need to pull a little more tree work out of there on the side of the camera but at least you get a nice shot of the river the waterfalls anyway going up there it's kind of fun just for fun. Alright, here we go, ripping around. Oh, but I suppose we're gonna go the other direction. Sure. Well, at least the nice part with having it be in a loop like this is you don't have to watch any of the switches, really. So that's a bonus. They'll just auto flip themselves for you every which way you go. So I find that to be useful. That's for sure. Alright, better start slowing this thing down. As we know, the hopper cars are not huge fans of big sharp turns. So this is going to get a little interesting, I think. Now you're going to roll through. And watch the rockin' begin. Just get away to make sure that all the ore is loose in the cars and ready to come out. Is uh, make sure they get a little shook up on the turn. Yeah. Bring it to a somewhat of a slower pace here. That'll give us enough time at the dock. Alright, here we go. Whoa, get going. Ooh, I don't know if I dropped that one on the ground. Whatever. Couple isn't gonna end the world either. There we go. Oh, that worked by a lot. So yeah, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Thousand bucks. It all got to the dock. So that's pretty cool. Probably rip this one back up the hill because I think we do definitely have another load up there that we can do. So we might as well see how this goes. Of course, we are currently out of wood. So let's fill that up. Not really actually full, but full enough. 
see how the water level, water temperature, water temperature is fine. So pressure will stay up. We'll be good. There we go. This is too gentle in this area to be running at 100. We'll let it go back, get to the hill, just see how it's going to kind of pull up on the way. And then I think we'll call that one somewhere in there. Like moving, I do like the smoke on this. Kind of seems just about, you know, right. Lingers, but it's not like over overkill. Of course, it gets more as you stomp on the accelerator, so you do get a little more out of it. But through here, we'll just kind of take it a little easy. Oh, it seems to be hauling this with absolutely no problems at all. Of course, we haven't hit the big grade yet, so that's a thing. There we go. Starting to pull on the grade. Bump that up. Let's see if it actually pulls it somewhere in there. If it does, it definitely gives us the ability to add another car or two. I mean, that's 78% on the reverser. So that looks good. Can we accelerate? Yes, we can still accelerate. <clears throat> so yeah, it's actually going to handle it really decent. For that matter, all the way up. This is pretty, you know, the same grade other than a little bit of flat down. But so here we go. We'll just kind of step on it once, let it pick up the pace where we do we could definitely add another car or two to this for sure no problem so I guess with that one we'll just kind of try to tune it down into a nice steady grind we'll grind that one up the hill throw the old whistle take a good look at cook consolidation five hoppers up a four percent steady incline with a uh, few bends but nothing major and i think we'll call that one a win say thanks for tuning in remember if you get a chance like share subscribe subscriptions are free but sure do help the channel y'all have a great day